because one of the new models, um, I think this one is very early, yeah. but it's um, it's it's basically the first reasoning model over biology. So the the idea is that. Um, yeah, you, you you effectively have these models that that kind of simulate world models in different ways, and then you want it to be able to not just um, be able to spit out correlations, right, in terms of like what it's found, but actually be able to kind of reason through how things would would evolve and why things would happen. Right. Um, I think that one's quite early, but it's uh, but it is interesting conceptually as what I think is clearly going to be an important direction yeah. um, in terms of how these models evolve. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, because that's what I was thinking, you, you know, that it, if it doesn't work, the next question you have is why. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. But I think what you find in reasoning, the, 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 the analogy you're married to, to your hypothesis. <laughs> well, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, oh, I, I thought you were saying if, if, if the reasoning model doesn't work, why? I mean, I think the, well, that's kind of the making it yeah. no, it's, I mean, the language model analogy for that would be you need better kind of world models or, or, or yeah. better pre trained models in order to get the reasoning to be good. But it's, yeah, you just, you build more, you build more capabilities into it. And I think that there's probably an order too. So the work that Alex and the evolutionary scale folks worked on is a lot of it is protein, um, which is interesting because. That's at a kind of smaller resolution, obviously, than the cellular data and the right. cell cell atlas. Okay. But part of the hypothesis is that you can look at all these different cells and you can kind of simulate how they might behave, but you're going to have a somewhat shallow understanding unless you actually have this hierarchical understanding of what um, how the sub components of the cells hmm. are going to interact. So our view is that you basically want to build up a state of the art protein model. Mm-hmm. And then have that be a part of the state of the art cellular model. And then once you have that, you build things like the virtual immune system, which allows you to simulate um, much more complicated systems. But it's sort of this like hierarchical approach to building up these these uh, virtual models. 